Yes, sorry for the inconvenience caused. Uh, so, last time, last lecture was held at uh, held on that platform, the Team Link platform. But I think so some issues occurred. So I will send the record. I have recorded some of the sessions, some of the part over there. I will upload both the part and even I am recording this part also. So from tomorrow itself, we will be doing this in Cisco WebEx app itself because that app is has having some issues. So we will conduct the lecture in this. In this like in this app only. Okay. okay, so what I was discussing last uh, last time that uh, yeah, the uncontrolled growth of uh, population. Okay, the uncontrolled growth of population has exactly in urban areas has left the sewerage system, municipal solid waste okay, management, everything. They have left exactly uh, different to us. Okay, so uh, we are facing the acute problems of solid waste management. Okay. So that thing we are facing over here, okay, and due to lack of serious efforts by town cities, garbage and uh, it is uh, management has been become a tenacious problem. And the largest part, uh, the largest chunk of the municipal, sorry, the largest chunk of the municipal expenditure is devoted towards this uh, solid waste management. Okay, so if if it is devoted towards the solid waste management, then why still managing of solid waste management, managing the solid waste is Posing the biggest problem to many of the municipal authorities, the municipal corporations. Why? So this is the main point, major question that is pondering everyone, every citizen's head. Okay. Now it is not common to find that 30 to 50 percent of the staff and workers are being utilized by urban, uh, urban local bodies for these operations. Okay. If you if you just uh, look at the uh, look at the premises, look at look, 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 we'll find that majority of the people and this is a uh, this is an uh, unorganized sector. Uh, 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 unorganized sector. Okay. So in, <coughs> in this, we will find 30 to 50 <coughs> percent of the staff is devoted towards you. So you have to pay them amount of salary or some amount of salary also. So everything there is a lot. Okay. Despite this, there has been progressive decline in the standard of services. If 30 to 50 percent of workers are involved in this, then why the standard of services are very low? Okay. Then. Correction, disposal of municipal services, including hospital and industrial services. Everywhere we are facing a very facing a facing a uh, facing challenges. Okay, then why exactly we are facing the problems over here? If the municipal expenditure is more and devoted towards it, okay, and if uh, the workers are also thirty to fifty percent they are working in it, okay, working on it, okay, then why the standard of services are very low? This is very and why we are compromising with the environmental health agenda? So all the actually in this paragraph. Uh, in this paragraph, okay, exactly, you can say that the uh, from, from where, wherever I have took this reference, so this thing is actually a criticizable point. Okay, we are criticizing the municipal authorities that despite there are many, uh, uh, despite there are uh, many workers in here, workers over here, we are devoting maximum amount of municipal expenditure, municipal revenues, whatever we are generating, we are devoting towards it. Then why the services are very low? Why still the waste are dumped near the houses? Why? 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 What is the reason behind it? Okay, we have to just this thing has to be this thing has to be on. Okay, so this was about this paragraph. Okay, then next is okay. So this is about the expenditure. What I am telling you about. Okay, for example. So this is a table. Okay, this is a table. The components of solid waste management in India. Okay, these are the components. Okay, and this reference has been taken from the World Bank Improving Management of the World Bank Report of 2006. From there, this table has been taken. Okay, so if you just look at this, okay, so if you go through this, large cities, middle-sized towns, okay, small towns, hill towns, okay. So these are the towns over there. Okay, so what is the MSW management expenditure? So per capita per annum. Per capita means based on the population. If the population is about 1.5 million, so per capita what is the cost? It is about 165 to 175, 150 to 180 is in the mid-sized towns, 120 to 150 is in the small towns, and 350 to 400 is in the hilly towns. Okay, why it is more in hilly towns? It is more in hilly towns. It is because because in hilly areas. You have to traverse a long amount of slope and everything. Okay, so that's why in many towns the MSW management expenditure is very, 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 very more. Okay, you can see it over here. Okay, the next is MSW management cost per ton. Okay, 
So in this case also large number 900 to 200, okay. 800 to 200, 800 to 600, and same is very more, okay. In case of milliton, okay. If MLW expenditure as a percentage of total municipal expenditure, so it is 15 to 25 percent in case of large cities, 15 to 25 percent in mid towns, 20 to 40 percent in uh, small towns, and 25 to 45 percent in hilly towns. Okay. So if it is expenditure of total municipal revenue, so whatever the municipal revenue is generated, so 15 to 25 percent is divided towards solidarity management in uh, uh, large cities, 15 to 25 in mid-sized towns, small towns 20 to 40 percent, and hill towns 25 to 45 percent. Okay. And salaries. Salaries that are given to the uh, salaries that are given to the it is audible I think so because uh, mic is not muted over here. Please check it once. Okay. So uh, hello. I think it is audible now. Right. So salaries if you say so 45 to 55 percent in case of large cities, 60 to 70 percent in year, 60 to 70 percent in year, and 80 to 90 percent salary over here because hilly towns. If the towns in hilly areas, specifically in Jammu and Kashmir, where there you have to pay a large amount, large chunk, chunk of uh, amount of money to the sal uh, salaries to the people. Okay. Then cost of primary collection 25 to 30 percent. The data is given over here. You can just look at this. Cost of transportation is just 20 to 25 percent, and overall cost is around 35 to 40 percent. For large cities, 25 to 30 percent for mid-size, 5 to 10 percent for year, less than 5 percent for year. Okay. So why you can see the overall cost? So overall cost is 35 to 40 percent. So in large cities, the municipal expenditure of 35 percent, 35 percent of the municipal revenues are used in large cities. So if you compare it overall, if you combine it everything, okay, you will find that in uh, you will find that in uh, large cities, you will find that. I think it is audible. You can just check it once because uh, I think so that it is audible to everyone. Okay. Hello. Hello. Okay. So please check it once because I am. I think my my mic is on exactly. Hello, now it is, it is audible. Okay. So cost of MS uh, contract total total value will be 35 to 40 percent, 25 to 30 percent mid-sized towns, and 5 to 10 percent in small towns. Okay. And less than 5 percent in so total is very uh, total percentage or total overall percentage is very more in large scale. Okay. Next. Next is about the in many cities. Nearly half the solid waste is unattended. Okay, uh, you can see that many of the cities in half of, half of the solid waste generated remains unattended. Means they are not, they are kept dumped in the solid waste dumps. Okay, giving rise to insanitary conditions. Okay, insanitary conditions are uh, insanitary conditions are uh, generated. Okay, um, Okay, so nearly half of the unit is attended and giving rise to conditions, insanity conditions. Okay, so then after that, um, what? After that, intensive slums which in turn results in increase in morbidity, especially due to microbial infections. Okay, so if they are attended and if, if, if I have told you yesterday also that if the solid waste is, uh, if, if a dumping site is there in front of your house, okay, and if it is kept as it is and it is not being uh, taken to the landfill and not managed pro properly, okay, then rodents will come, infections will spread, okay. So that's why we have to look at this very uh, effectively, okay. Then solid waste management is a part of public health and sanitation and according to Indian constitution, it will fall within the purview of state list, okay. So now there are three types of list, okay. There are three types of list in a constitution. One is called as sent, uh, union list, okay. One is called as union list. One is called as union list, okay. One is called as union list, okay. Next is called as a state list. Next is called as a state list, right? And next is called as 
the concurrent list okay concurrent list okay for example the education health everything okay so the, the, whatever sort of list is maintained in every list there are some items okay so in uh, which which item or which part or which uh, is a responsibility of that particular government okay now for example uh, the competitive examinations whatever you they conduct okay so whether that it has to be conducted or not that comes under the union list okay state list state list means the state government will be solely responsible for that and concurrent list means what both the state and central government can take equal uh, responsibilities okay so solid waste management it generally comes under the purview of state list means uh, the respective state authorities are responsible for the management of solid waste and this solid waste comes under the purview of state list so and preferably it comes under what it comes under the municipal corporation and it is governed by the state government okay so state government will manage the uh, state government will manage the uh, this uh, state government will manage this uh, list okay so uh, the solid waste management will totally be coming under the state government okay the activity being of a local nature is interested in urban local body so the urban local body is the municipal corporation so the urban local body is the task solid waste service delivery and everything and in some cases the work is contracted to private enterprises also okay in mumbai pune and navi mumbai will find that many of the solid waste management is being undertaken by the private entities and they are hired by the municipal corporation so that they can uh, they, they are given the contracts and then they are managing the solid waste okay that's why the solid waste management is very effective in case of the metropolitan cities like mumbai and pune but it is very 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 actually it's a pathetic condition over here in our district itself okay because of we don't have a good solid waste management facility and we, you will find that the solid waste management so solid waste are dumped into the, into, into the dustbins and they are not uh, being attended for two to three days and more than that also okay that's why we are just facing a very serious issue of managing the solid waste right and uh, you can see that and i am exactly very quite uh, actually i was quite uh, what i can say which quite shocked to see that cities like musawal and jalgaon they are in the Top fifteen, top hundred list in the the in the Swachh Sarvekshan Abhiyan. I mean, this is it was actually I am I am not expected that. And if you see the ground realities, okay, if you see the ground uh, realities, okay, uh, if you see the ground realities, then uh, what I can say? I mean, uh, the conditions are totally different, right? Let's see. Next. This is the condition exactly. Okay, this is the solid waste management. How it is done? Okay, so this is the solid waste management that is done in Mumbai. Okay, you can see the workers how they are collecting the waste. So they are actually the workers. Either they can be hired by any private entity, either they can be hired or they can be hired by the uh, government uh, by the municipal authorities. Okay, so actually they are they are the BMC workers. They are working on the solid waste. It is in Mumbai. Okay. and this is in pune the trucks will carry the solid waste management in pune such type of solid waste management activity takes place okay so these are the two pictures in left hand side and the right hand side you can just go through it you can just see whether such type of similar conditions and similar sort of sorting of waste and everything is managed over here whether such precautions of made precautions are taken by wearing masks and everything are taken by the authorities who are working i don't i have not seen such type of management okay so this thing we are lagging behind if if you say that uh, majority of the municipal municipal uh, thing municipal expenditure is devoted towards this then where the money of the taxes of the people they are going over there so this is a serious question that is this is actually the fact sheet that i am telling you okay next next is there has been major there has been no community Uh, no major effort to create community awareness either about likely okay so no major effort to create community awareness okay likely perils to poor waste management everything so there are very there are very less awareness about it okay do do so the community awareness is very less okay the solid waste produced in india is three upon uh, population of 370 million people is 62 million tons per year so 62 million tons per year waste is generated in india okay the collection disposal of solid waste is one of the pressing problems in every city's life and with the with the growing urbanization as a result of planned economic growth and industrialization problems becoming acute and call for immediate and concerted action is required okay so problem is becoming very acute and 377 million urban people 62 million tons per year how will manage the waste 
how will dispose the waste so that is a serious problem that is being occurring in india it's occurring in urban india right next is as per the ministry of urban affairs so they have released the data and what that data exactly says what that data exactly says the data says that around 1.4 lakh metric tons 1.45 lakh metric but even it is more in 2020 so 1.45 lakh net metric tons okay 1.45 uh, 1.45 lakh metric tons waste is generated okay 1.45 lakh metric tons waste is generating per day in 2020 this is a data of 2020 2019 1.45 lakhs per metric tons per day 62 million per year waste is generated okay now if we just go through it okay we just go through this 0.2 kg per 0.26 0.2 to 0.6 kg per uh, per capita waste means per population per population per capita what is the what is the population 0.2 to 0.6 kg waste it means for 1 million per person it generates 0.2 kg of waste means if i have a person so it will generate a 0.2 kg of waste every day Every day is the per capita waste generation is occurring. Okay, generally the collection of waste is seventy to ninety percent. Okay, in many metro cities, and it is below fifty percent some of the smaller cities. Okay, collection efficiency. The collection efficiency means the collection of waste occurs very frequently in urban areas, but it occurs very infrequently in rural areas. Okay, you can see seventy to ninety percent in urban areas and fifty percent in urban areas. It is also estimated that urban local bodies spend to be five hundred to fifty hundred ton, fifty uh, hundred per ton on solid waste for collection transportation. Okay. Per ton of waste, five to fifteen hundred rupees per ton is uh, devoted towards it. About sixty to seventy percent of the amount is spent in street sweeping of waste collection. Okay, street sweeping is seventy percent, twenty to twenty transportation, and less than five percent on disposal. Okay, they do they they devote such amount of uh, such 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 percent of amount to the uh, collection of waste, disposal of waste, but very less to the disposal of waste, which shows that hardly any attention is given to scientific disposal of waste. Means it it shows that five percent only on final disposal. Means If the waste is not disposed, if the waste is not processed properly, then how we can just uh, say that this uh, the, the problems, the the pellets that cause the waste 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 generation will take will uh, just, just improve. Okay, so that's why we have to look look into this. So landfill sites may not have been identified in many municipalities. Even we Jalgaon district doesn't have a proper landfill site itself. Okay, landfill we don't have any landfill sites, and several municipalities landfill that have been exhausted. The local bodies do not acquire uh, because they don't have uh, adequate amount of land. So landfill requires a large amount of land, and landfill means uh, a a big dumping ground where waste are uh, dumped. Okay, and due to lack of disposal side, even the collection efficiency gets. So this is the problem exactly of India. Means in many of the districts in many of the cities, we don't have landfill, and where the waste are to be dumped, and have what where are the costs are going exactly? If majority of the municipal or Expenditure is devoted to it, and where the money are going? The money is going. This is a serious question posed, and that is pondering everyone's mind. Right? Then very few, very few urban local bodies in the countries have prepared long-term plans. Okay, uh, we have to prepare long-term plans. Very few, very few urban local bodies, like Mumbai, Pune, these local bodies, they are. That's why they are smart cities, and we are lagging behind. Okay, uh, urban countries have prepared long-term plans for certain measures, for prepared long-term plan, economic solution, planning of the system. Everything is required over there. Okay. Bearing a few progress in municipal government country, all of the local bodies suffered non-ability and adequate expertise. Yeah, this is a very, very, very important thing that our municipal corporation, Jalgaon, Jalgaon district, okay, they suffered the non-availability of technical expertise that we require. Okay, then the then they are not handled properly. Okay, they are they don't have technical skills, financial resources, everything. So they are these are the problems that the local bodies are facing. Okay, similarly, defence, railways, CBD, and several. Government of India organizations too lack technical know-how of managing the solid waste, right? Government of India, government of India, CPWD, railways, defence, they have very less knowledge. They don't, they don't have adequate knowledge and technical know-how of managing the solid waste. Okay, it is therefore very necessary to provide proper guidance to urban local bodies for referred about to make efficient management solid waste management in areas and cities and towns. Okay, to manage this. So it is properly the local bodies have to be the local bodies have to be local bodies have to, should undergo proper training proper okay and then they have to uh, they have to they have to just uh, training purpose to training training for the solid waste management okay now I will tell you one thing one term was actually very one term in it was very uh, actually prominent in news privatization privatization many of the government sectors. Are privatized, and many of the peoples, 
they were criticizing this move of the government of india privatization okay they were criticizing this move but and the points that i have mentioned the points that i have mentioned in my previous slides prior slides posits the fact that if privatization doesn't take place if privatization doesn't take place then the dream that the, the, whatever we are dreaming of a sustainable future for us okay it will be just a dream for us exactly because it will just be it will just be a dream it will not be a it will not be converted to a reality whatever we studied till now it suggests that if government bodies are lacking lagging behind the technical expertise like in defense railways now for example i will tell you one thing uh, the junior engineers there those are recruited in defense sector railways or cpwd or pwd okay if the junior engineers are uh, recruited from by, by a particular organization but that engineer or whatever who are recruited over there they might not be having some such technical expertise in the solid waste management because to manage the solid waste we require some consulting advices we require some consulting advices from the uh, expertise and those expertise we find in the private sector it's very hardly difficult to find the government in, in the government sector this private expertise okay and if government is deciding to give the contract and tenders to the private sector peoples and they invested yeah i'll beat the cost of whatever will get will will, will rise okay it, the cost will get, the cost will rise okay but the do the cost will rise but the main thing i will tell you one thing that it will develop now you go to go to france go to usa go to everywhere you have seen the railways over there you have seen the railways over there you have seen the railways of france railways of usa railways of usa metros in uh, metro in uh, england london okay and see the railways railway in uh, india see the railway trains in india see the railway stations in india you will find a contrasting difference between these two a stark difference between these two between the two countries between the other countries and compared with india why because the privatization privatization has already taken place their privatization has already taken place and we are lagging with the privatization and if privatization is happening it is benefit for the peoples of india for the benefit, benefit for the peoples of the uh, 140 crore population so that's why before criticizing try to exactly look at the good aspects of privatization too right next concept and definition solid waste let's start with the main topic now we have studied about the uh, fact sheet that whatever fact sheet that we have studied about and whatever the facts related to solid waste we have studied about that now we'll study about the concept and definition solid waste okay so the definition of solid waste it has been in, uh, 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 actually incorporated in the volume 40 of the us code of federation regulation as per that solid waste is defined as the garbage refuse sludges and other discarded solid materials resulting from an industrial and commercial operations from a community or, and from the community activities okay if the, if they are resulting from if the garbage refuse sludges and other discarded solid materials not only hazardous non hazardous or anything if it is being disposed from any commercial entities industrial entities or any of the community activities from household from dead animals or anything and that is having a negative economic value that is called as a solid waste okay it does not include remember one thing remember one thing it does not include solids or dissolved material in domestic sewage okay the solid is meaning the sludges the sludges in the domestic sewage is different okay it is not included in this solid waste okay the gas okay the sludges that are in the sewage they are not included over here or the other segment would be in water sources such as silt dissolved suspended solids and everything industrial industrial uh, waste water effluents dissolved materials and irrigation written flows or other common pollutants they are exactly um, so they are exactly called as solid waste okay they are exactly called as solid waste so this is the definition of solid waste that you have to remember remember this is being promulgated in the us code of federal regulation okay so this is the definition of solid waste garbage refuse okay what is garbage what is refuse what are sludges what are everything i will be dealing with this in the further slides okay so just uh, be with me for some time okay we'll uh, come to know about garbage what is garbage and what is everything okay then next about let's see let's move towards uh, other topics now okay so yes yesterday i i posted this picture last in, in my last class okay these are the fresh apples fresh eggs uh, rotten eggs rotten apple right so what type of waste is this i will ask this question at the last of my in the last of my session okay that what sort of waste is this whether it is the garbage whether it is the refuse whether it is the rubbish 
So there's institutional waste, commercial waste. What type of waste is this? So let's move towards the category of waste. Then I think so you will be able to answer this type of question at last. Okay. Okay. So this is the main thing. I have already told you there are 10 categories of waste that are present in this universe. Exactly in many of the books, there will be, you will find some five categories, four categories, three categories. Okay. So, but books, uh, they are totally books or whatever the author, they author the books, they author the books according to them. Okay. So, but according to me, there are, according, not according to me, I, I have uh, referred many of the books and everything. Okay. So I got this 10 categories of waste. Okay. So as a country, in, uh, as a country, the spectrum is heterogeneous. Okay. And is complex. So in order to implement cost effective management strategies, the waste has to be class classified properly. Okay. And whatever the, for this the source type of sources, they are classified as following. It can be municipal solid waste, hazardous waste, industrial waste, medical waste, universal waste, construction and demolition waste, radioactive waste, mining waste, agriculture and horticulture waste, and sewage waste. So these are the types of waste, solid waste that is generated in the universe. Okay. In the universe, this type of waste are generated. Okay. So there are three types of waste. Actually, solid waste, solid waste means solid type of waste. You have, you have so actually, I have uh, waste are of three types. Okay. Actually, in general, waste are of three types solid, solid waste, liquid waste, and gaseous waste. Okay. Liquid waste is the wastewater, solid waste is the whatever the kachra that we generate, that is the solid waste, and gaseous waste is the, is the air pollutant. Okay. Air pollutant is the gaseous waste. Okay. So, these are the waste we will study. We will study it one by one. Okay. So, municipal solid waste. Okay. As you can see in the pictures, okay. You can see some in the, in the picture itself, the right hand side, you can see there are a lot of papers, papers are there, plastics are there, everything. So there was this, if we integrate all this thing, it will be called as the municipal solid waste, right? It is called as the municipal solid waste from the municipal entities, like from the municipal authorities, municipal entities, the waste is the municipal solid waste. It can be of 10 types, again, this is of 10 types, it is going to be domestic waste. It can be a municipal waste, simple municipal waste, commercial waste, industrial waste, Garbage waste, rubbish waste, ashes waste, bulky waste, street living waste, and denizen waste. Okay, so these are the types of municipal solid waste that is generated in our locality. So if we just live in a locality, so we can, we will see we, we have seen the amalgamation of such type of waste. Okay, these are the municipal solid waste. It encompasses domestic waste, it encompasses municipal waste, it encompasses commercial waste, institutional waste, garbage waste, rubbish waste, ashes, bulky waste. Bulky waste means what? Not bulky waste means uh, bulky waste means not the e waste. Okay, bulky waste means the chairs, furniture, tables. Okay, so the, the, you can see somewhat. You cannot see it. We have to show it afterwards. Okay, street living waste, the waste that is generated in the alleys, parks, alleys, roadways, in the footpaths, the street living waste, and the animal waste. Okay, let's move further now. Okay, domestic waste. So domestic waste. So you can see the picture below. So these are the domestic waste. So the waste that is generated from your residence, okay. So here it is the residence. So the waste wherever you live, in your flat, in your homes, wherever in a bungalow, okay. So, uh, so, so, so from the household, from the single or multi-family household, the waste are released. So then that is called as the domestic waste. The waste is from the domestic households or single or multi-family households. They are called as a domestic waste, okay. These waste are generated as a consequence of household activities, okay. From the household activities, the waste that is generated is called the household that they are as a Domestic waste, okay. They can be either from cooking, cleaning, repairs, hobbies, redecoration, empty containers, packaging, clothing, old books, adding new paper, old furnishings. And household also discard bulky waste as furniture. You can find the cartons and furnitures over also here. Okay. So they are, these are all called these are all the uh, domestic waste and they also come as the plastics, plastics, old books, clothing, package, everything that are repaired and everything. So they are called as the domestic waste. Okay. I hope so. This is clear to everyone now. So let's move further. Municipal waste. So municipal waste. So what is the municipal waste? Okay. So municipal waste is exactly the municipal waste. It includes waste from municipal activities. Okay. So what sort of municipal activities is the waste that totally comes under totally totally means hundred percent or ninety nine more than hundred uh, percent. It comes under the jurisdiction of the municipal authorities, and that is what is the municipal waste. Now the waste that you release from the home that is your waste, and that waste will be managed by the the waste, domestic waste is different. Domestic waste is, is also incorporated in the municipal solid waste. But domestic waste that you generate from your household will be managed by the municipal authorities itself. And for that, you all pay the taxes. You all pay the taxes. You that and, for, and, and with the help of that, the waste are managed. 
okay but the this type of waste is municipal waste it comes totally under the municipal authorities okay so the services such as the street waste the waste the waste that is there in the street they are the responsibility of the municipal authorities they will manage it properly the waste of the dead animals if the animals they died due to the accidents or uh, tragic accidents then that is also the responsibility of what responsibility of the municipal authorities the market waste the market waste the market waste is also totally responsibility of the responsibility of the municipal authorities abandoned vehicles we have uh, I, I will tell you one example of abandoned vehicles when you, when you, whenever you come from uh, the highway to jalga city okay you will find the msrt st buses st buses the abandoned buses they are not they are not in use today so these those buses you will find over there they have one depot over there you will find it over there okay however that term is commonly applied in wider sense to incorporate domestic waste also institutional commercial waste so they can be applied to that also and this abandoned vehicles you can see over there so this is a type of municipal waste they are the responsible of the municipal authorities okay so they are the so municipal authorities will take care of that okay the next thing is about the commercial waste commercial waste means what the commercial entities from wherever the waste are released so they are called as a commercial uh, waste okay it can be included like solid waste from solid waste from offices wholesale retail markets restaurants hotels markets warehouses commercial establishments some of the waste are classified as garbage and other rubbish okay they can be garbage or rubbish so you can see the waste okay these are the these are, these are the waste from the hotels from the hotels and restaurants the waste is related to the waste uh, they, they are called as the commercial waste and this waste can be garbage also and the garbage is means what the waste from the food and vegetable the vegetable meats everything so they are the waste having what they are these are the waste of these are the waste these are the waste of what these are the wastes of uh, from the commercial establishments okay these are the waste from the, these are the commercial establishments okay from the hotels warehouses and these waste they are called as the commercial wastes okay the next is the institutional waste so institutional waste is what the waste from the institutions okay so waste from the institutions like uh, schools universities hospitals research institutes okay the waste from the hospital they are actually hazardous waste but some waste like for example this uh, wires and everything or the saline instruments they are not so hazardous okay so they can be disposed they can be considered as institutional waste okay from research labs and they are considered garbage also rubbish also okay so they are hazardous to public health and to environment also okay so they have to dispose some uh, for that some special treatment is required for that okay and remember one thing that institutional waste is also come comes under the category of this okay uh, yeah, so municipal solid waste okay next is garbage waste okay so what are the garbage waste garbage i have already told you garbage is a term applied to animal and vegetable matter okay so animal and vegetable resulting from handling through sale cooking and serving of food to so the animal and vegetable matter and this waste are contain putrefiable organic matter which makes it biodegradable it oxidizes it and it produces strong smell and then it attracts flies that's why flies and worms okay so whatever you release from home the vegetable uh, and animal matter that is they are called as garbage is okay it requires immediate attention the storage and disposal that's why this is called as a garbage waste that contains the putrefiable organic matter and that is putrefiable organic matter decomposable organic matter and it consists of animal and vegetable waste okay they are called as a garbage waste okay next is about the rubbish rubbish means what rubbish means what the rubbish is the msb excluding the food waste so whatever excluded from the food waste and it is non biodegradable okay so they are called they are called as rubbish and rubbish is combustible so you can just burn them okay so it can be burned so rubbish is combustible so it is in a household commercial industry and including garbage and ashes. if you exclude the garbage and ashes you find the rubbish is okay so the cans you can see the cans glass cans bottles everything so these are they are all they are all rubbish okay so they are called as rubbish next is what ashes ashes means what the ashes means these are the ashes uh other residues from the burning of wood coal charcoal coke and other combustible material like cooking and housing also okay so this is a, whenever you just uh, cook your food in a bhatti okay in a bhatti if you cook, cook, cook a food okay so you will generate the ashes so this ashes is considered as the municipal solid waste okay but the ashes generated in the factories like in the power plant and factories they are not included in this okay the the ashes that are generated from the power plants or any other other power plants okay uh, by burning of coal okay the residues that are left so they are they are actually from the factories okay so they are ex exactly called as a industrial waste we'll deal further okay so they are considered industrial waste not in this okay the burning of wood coal coal cook for cooking and heating purposes for for if you ironing of uh, cloth also you just use, use coal and the ashes are generated so that ashes and those ashes are called as the uh, comes under the municipal solid waste okay next is the bulky waste so bulky waste means i have already told you 
the bulky waste which are not cannot be accommodated in the normal storage containers of the household for example they require special collection and in developed countries bulky waste are large household appliances such as uh, cookers refrigerators and washing machines metallic bulky waste are also there so you can see the furnitures and everything uh, furnitures containers and everything so they are called as the bulky waste okay refrigerators uh, cookers also you can found they are called as the bulky waste okay because they are heavy in size they are heavy in uh, weight that's why called as the bulky waste okay then street sweeping waste so i think so you might have already seen uh, you, you might have, you might daily see uh, near the houses okay the street sweepers they generally clean the streets they uh, they actually collect the leaves uh, near the streets okay and they collect it over here and they uh, dispose it somewhere so okay so the waste that are collected from the streets walkways alleys parks uh, vacant plots okay so they are called as the streets in waste in most affluent countries manual street sweeping has virtually disappeared in india still we appear still 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 we use uh, manual street sweeping but in majority in other countries they are used they are using this mechanized street sweeping uh, is dominant okay street sweeping may include paper cardboard plastic dirt dust leaves so if you if you just see uh, one thing you will find that in every municipal solid waste category you will find paper plastic cardboard dirt dust leaves the, this is very common plastic is very common plastic also very common 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 okay you can find this street sweeping waste over there the next is dead animal waste dead animal waste is what the this waste when it uh, takes care of the categories that is dead animals they die naturally or accidentally they get killed okay this include the this will not include the carcass okay the carcass and the animal parts that has found in the slaughterhouse they are called as the slaughterhouse waste or the industrial waste they are called as the industrial waste they are not included in the dead animal this dead animal they that dead get accidentally killed or naturally killed okay in the uh, in the high, on the highways or everything okay so they are called as the dead animal waste so that will come under that comes under the jurisdiction of the municipal authorities okay dead animals can be divided into two groups large and small among large animals they can be horses cows goats sheep hogs okay and small animals like dogs cats and rabbits are also the uh, part of the small animals okay the reason for this in differentiation is that large animals okay require special equipment of lifting okay for large like cows you have to you have to require a cleaning mechanism for uh, uh, cleaning because they, because a single person a single a single individual cannot uh, hold okay cannot uh, lift that uh, large animal lift the large animal okay so for that small animals are required for, the, for, for small animals can easily lift it but large animals require the cleaning and lifting mechanism for that if not corrected from the dead animals are set to the public issues because they attract flies and vermins and they will infect the society okay they are present in the public places of particularly offensive elements falls well that's why whenever you see whenever you go to the road if an animal dies if flies they get flies and vermin they attract to the towards that you will find that uh, it will emanate foul smell and you all close your nose uh, you all just uh, put uh, the handkerchief on your nose and then um because it em emits very emits very foul smell okay so this is the example of uh, the dead animal waste when uh, hurricanes occurred in uh, america so this sort of condition was there the chickens or the uh, chickens were find uh, chickens the actually the hens hens were find uh, lying dead on uh, in, 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 in the river okay so this was found in the usa when hurricane took place okay so this was a summary of whatever i told you the food waste garbage ashes and bulky waste so this is a summary of msw so whatever msw we discuss is not discussed now so from where the description of that waste and the sources of waste from where they generated it's given over here okay then hazardous waste so what is the hazardous waste so hazardous waste is exactly hazardous waste okay so as per the resource conservation and recovery act hazardous waste is defined as any waste or combination of waste which pose a substantial threat to the human health or living organisms because such waste are non degradable they are non degradable means they are not degradable they are non degradable or positively charged or because they can be biologically magnified biologically magnified means what they can pass to subsequent food chains okay if 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 if, if the hazardous waste is found in the hens and if you uh, consume the hens okay then what will happen then this disease will pose, then this waste will pose uh, will pose a substantial which was a substantial threat to the human beings okay they can they can be they can be lethal they can be cost and to cause detrimental cumulative effects if it causes such type of act, such type of hazards to human health then that is called as a hazardous waste so the name itself is that is the hazardous waste okay and rcr is hazardous waste
ओके एनी वेस्ट ऑफ कॉम्बिनेशन ऑफ वेस्ट ओके सो इन अदर वर्ड्स आर सी आर एट में कॉज ऑफ कंट्रीब्यूट इंक्रीज मोटेलिटी सीरियस इलनेस ओके सब्सटेंशियल हजार इट कैन कॉज देर पॉइंट एज दी हजार्डस वेस्ट ओके then next is what next is about uh, this uh, hazardous waste they can be classified as toxic okay what are the examples of hazardous waste they are solvent manufacturers electric printing and battery treating food preserving and petroleum waste regulations for this are required paper trail and everything is required credit to grade approach has to be maintained for this to maintain this uh, to to just manage this waste okay so these are the examples of hazardous waste okay we uh, the next about the industrial waste so from the power plants so you can just go through it you can just read it okay we have we have very less time with us okay so uh, you can just read, read this over there so these are the this are uh, from where, whatever industries they are just uh, generating their product industrial waste okay so these are sort of industrial waste from the power plants they are called the industrial waste okay medical waste from the uh, pathological labs okay the waste that is generated they are called as the body parts syringes that everything they are called medical they are very hazardous to us okay and that uh, these are the waste from the uh, medical waste which they are called the medical waste then medical waste after medical waste then what are the universal waste the so universal waste means batteries from the batteries lamps and everything So there are the universal waste. Okay, construction demolition waste are the construction site concrete bricks when we demolish when we construct whatever the waste is generated. They are called as the construction demolition waste. Radioactive waste we just go through it from the nuclear power plants. The waste is generated. They are very hazardous. They can cause cancer. Okay, we can just go through this. Okay, uh, this sign is called as the uh, radioactive sign. Okay, mining waste. These are the mining waste. Okay, from the mining areas the cyanide solutions are there. Cyanide, gold, silver, whatever we or There the agricultural waste, horticultural waste from the trimmings, leaves, and there are the horticultural waste. Sewage waste is what? Sewage waste is the sludges that are generated. There are also the sewage waste. They are also disposed in the landfills. They are also in the municipal. So this is a summary for the waste. Okay. So I hope so that this lecture is very clear. So clear to everyone. So we will end it over here. And uh, for the attendance, I am posting the link in the chat box. You just fill the attendance. Okay. And uh, five minutes is available to you. So you can just. Uh, Fill the attendance fast, okay? This is a link to you. Link of attendance given on the in front of the chat box. In the chat box, you can just fill it and just. Okay. So tomorrow we will start with the solid waste uh, environmental impacts of solid waste management. Okay. Just uh, give a read on this all the categories because I have just skipped uh, some some part of it. Okay. Because we have already it is more than one hour. Okay. So you, uh, that's why we just go through it once. I will just post the video of the lecture. Okay. And we have we have we will have two version of the videos. Okay. So both the version of the videos of lecture. Okay. I will publish on YouTube. As fast as possible, and also I will post the PDF of today's PDF links of today's lecture, and also the references that I have referred for this lecture. For that, that references also I will post over there in the comment box. Okay. So uh, you all fill the attendance. I will just uh, leave now. Finish filling.